Here's a story. A few years ago, I knit a sweater with super chunky merino wool. It literally took me just a few hours to knit the back and the front and the sleeves, but it took ages to put the pieces together. Because the yarn was so thick, any seam I tried would create bulk and would completely ruin the look of the sweater. The biggest challenge was to find a way to join the open stitches of the sleeves to the shoulders. After quite a few attempts of seaming and seaming, I did find a way to make it work. And in this video, I'll show you how. This seam is worked on open stitches, so when you finish working on the piece that you want to attach to, a, to an edge, uh, don't bind off stitches. Keep them on the needle and then transfer them to a piece of scrap yarn. Here's how we do it. Uh, thread the piece of scrap yarn into a wool needle and then slip each stitch from the knitting needle to the wool needle and onto the scrap yarn, just like this. And just a few more stitches. Here we go. Put the knitting needle aside, we will need it. And then uh, move the stitches onto the piece of scrap yarn and remove the wool needle. Here we go. Now this, this piece is ready for seaming. And when you finish knitting, make sure you cut a pretty long tail because we'll be using this tail for seaming. Now we take a, a, another piece, the one that's going to have the the edge that we're going to attach it to. Actually, I call it the salvage edge, but you don't have to have salvages. I just call it this way to uh, to show you what kind of edge I mean, you know. Uh, but this particular piece doesn't have any salvages at all, so it's just all plain stocking stitch, and that's just fine. So align uh, these two pieces, the one that you're going to um, attach the open stitches to, and the the piece, uh, well, let's call it the piece A and the piece B, okay? So uh, align the pieces so so that the, uh, the seam, the future seam is where you want it to be. And then use uh, the pins or um, safety pins or locking stitch markers to pin the, uh, the two pieces together. If you need this one, the piece A, if that's a sleeve, for example, if you need it to be slightly stretched, then, then go ahead, stretch it. So uh, make it where it should be, right? Usually the pattern will tell you where to attach the sleeve. So just um, adjust it any way you want before you pin it. And once it's, it's all good, it looks fine, then you just attach with a pin or a safety pin, like I said, or anything else. Uh, attach it to the, um, the piece B, just like this. If you are um, joining bigger, well, obviously you will be joining a longer uh, pieces, then add a pin every uh, five centimeters, two inches or so, so that every segment of the piece A is kind of safely attached, it has its place. And then once you attach it, uh, that's it, that's the setup, and we are ready to actually start seaming. So thread the, uh, the yarn tail into a wool needle, and then move the scrap yarn so that the right end of this yarn is uh, almost out of the first stitch, like this. So it's still in there, but it's uh, very short. And now insert the wool needle, into the from the front to back into the first stitch the first open stitch and then back to front into the spot that's very important because uh, what's good about the seam is that we are not counting anything on the piece B we are not counting rows or bars or whatever it is we just go basically visually what you see is what you get and uh, that's good because we don't have to actually look closely into the piece B. And we insert the needle into the stitch and then into the spot that is opposite to the stitch because we pin the, the piece in place, right? So we just go, like I said, visually. Whatever is opposite is good. That's where we go. Uh, and uh, this spot is going to be one stitch away from the edge of the of the piece so if you do have a salvage then it's going to be your salvage i don't have a salvage here so i just go one stitch 
away. This edge is going to be almost hidden anyway, so if you don't have a salvage, not a big deal really. And then pull the, uh, the yarn through. Make sure the needle doesn't catch the scrap yarn. So pull the scrap yarn so it gets out of the stitch because if it's caught then it will be tough, right? You don't need the scrap yarn in the work. So remove it as you go. And then remove the first pin because we already have the pieces joined. And then we go into the second stitch, same way, front to back here, back to front there. Pull it through. Again, see, I'm not counting anything. I'm not looking into bars or whatever. Um, I'm just go whatever feels is the right spot. And then pull the scrap yarn. And do it again in the piece A and then piece B. Enjoy. Basically, it's a whip stitch, but we do it in a bit intricate way, kind of knitting way that helps us join the open stitches to the edge and it doesn't create any bulk at all. So keep going, moving the scrap yarn and removing the pins as you go, joining stitch by stitch, uh, piece A, open stitches of the piece A to the edge of the piece B. Make sure you stay always one stitch away from the edge so that the seam is not kind of all over the place, right? It's just um, all aligned along the one uh, line of stitches. And here goes my last pin. The scrap yarn is removed and the last stitch is attached. That's it. That's how it looks. Super easy, fast, really nice seam. And then when you come to the end of the seam, make an extra stitch just to secure the yarn. And then you can even go inside the loop to make sure the yarn stays there. And while you have the tail on the needle, turn uh, the work to the wrong side and hide the tail. And now while we are at the wrong side, you probably see that this seam is also reversible. Okay, let's deal with the tail first. See, it looks really nice on both sides. Because we, uh, we've done it in two different colors, like I did it on purpose because I wanted you to see what's happening. Uh, and uh, of course it shows. But that's another good thing because if you want to make a cottagey like you know, uh, nets, then you can use this seam in a different color and to make it decorative, right? Uh, but uh, when you make it in solid color, I have another swatch here. See, it's, it's invisible basically. It's invisible on both sides, one side and then here's the other side. And uh, even those stitches that you can see, they're kind of, there is a gap, right, between the seam and the stitches. As you wear the knit, as it gets stretched and so on, then the, uh, the yarn gets redistributed and it doesn't show that much. And even if it does, if the yarn goes down, then still it's a nice way to kind of make an, another decoration, right? Uh, so. Here it is, a nice flat seam that is also a bit stretchy and reversible and easy, super easy to make. See, it's quite a nice seam. Give it a try next time you make a sweater. Speaking of sweaters, I'm working on a pattern for the sweater I'm wearing right now. It's going to be released in about two weeks and for the next 10 days you can pre-order it if you follow the link in the description. I really appreciate your support. Thank you for watching this video and have a wonderful week. I'll see you next Thursday.